47 meters. Forty seven meters. Solid shot. Again at forty seven meters. Solid shot at fifty meters. Right in the head. These Hornet pellets from H and N really do a remarkable job, and they are extremely, extremely accurate out of this Huntsman Revere. And uh, obviously this is the 30 foot pound air rifle and um, more than enough power to take down these ground squirrels. Uh, they're a little bit light in weight so um, I have to hold for the wind now and then. But um, the more you shoot obviously the more experience you gain and uh, the more you'll know how to hold for the wind. Um, almost I touched this electric fence <laughs> that was very close. But uh, nevertheless, that was uh, really, really a great shot. Oh, it's cracking shot. That should be around 40-ish meters around there. Right in the head. Oh, there's a spider right in front of my lens. I think... Um, I'm going to go collect them and then we'll move to a different spot. All right, so let's quickly have a look at the One Leaf Rapid Fire Plus scope and the One Leaf NV100 Commander Digital. Okay, so it's a very calm night tonight. All the lights are switched off, so um, I'm here in my backyard. So, what we're going to do first is show the quality through the Rapid Fire Plus and then through another scope with one of those clamps. So uh, first of all, I'm going to show you guys how it looks like an, on 50 meters, then on about 70 meters, and then on 300 meters, just so you guys can see um, what it will look like during the night. We're looking at quality. Obviously, there won't be any animals um, to aim at, but uh, I want you guys to look at the detail on the leaves of the trees, especially on the distances that we are going to, to look at. So before we record that, I quickly just want to explain to you guys how it looks like when you um, basically put the IR torch on a beam or on a floodlight when you adjust this little knob here on top. So I'm going to adjust the camera quickly and then aim towards a tree about 50 meters away just to show you guys what the beam and the floodlight, if I can call it the floodlight, um, looks like. Okay, this tree is about 50 meters away and currently the IR torch on the commander is set to power setting number two and like I said it's on a beam so if I pull it back you can see it's gonna show a bit wider I'll try to zoom out a little bit here to show you guys how it looks like this is zoomed out I'm gonna zoom back in the camera will definitely lose focus because obviously it's at night so there we go this is like I said power setting number two and um, that should be number three, number four, number five, number six, and obviously this is off. So I'm just going to switch it back on on number one and number two. Okay, this is about 50 meters away. We are on IR setting number three. So there's a lot of power. You can see that um, we've got a lot of light to work with. If I zoom out all the way, this is on three times magnification, IR setting number three, and just look at the detail of those leaves. Really, really nice. Okay, so currently we are again on IR setting number three, and uh, you can see the detail on those branches there. And um, I'm going to try to bump up the, the power of the torch. And you can see it gets a little bit lighter there. So if you need to get a little bit more light there, the commander really gives you that option there with the six power settings on the, the R torch. That's obviously off. Power setting number one. And then two. 
and three seems to be way better. So uh, let's quickly have a look how it looks like on about 300 meters. Okay, I quickly had to move the table so we can take aim at the church tower, which is very close to 300 meters at the moment. And as you guys can see from my hand, um, the IR torch is currently on power setting number one. So if I'm going to press record now, you'll be able to see just the silhouette of the church tower. And um, if I cycle through the power settings, power setting number two, you can already start seeing a little bit better and a bit more detail. Three, four, five, and six. Now just have a look at the detail again. You can actually see the shadows of the wires of the fiber lines coming from the poles towards the houses. You can see the shadows against the, the, the church tower, which is really remarkable. And if I put my hand here, I think we'll have more light now shining towards, towards me. So, yeah. Uh, during the day, so you guys can see what the quality looks like during the day. Nice. Uh, 67 meters. Not too bad, not too bad. Solid shot. That wasn't really far. I think it must have been right on 30 meters.